Hi there, my name is Chris Nichols with the Deep Creek Lake Lions Club and I've got a request for any artistically minded people out there for quick help with a project we've got coming up. Um, so very briefly about the project, we have a park on Bumblebee Road and in that park we've got a, a historical center that's centered around the life and times of Meshick Browning who was one of the first settlers of Garrett County and a prolific hunter. He wrote a book entitled 44 Years of the Life of a Hunter and it's a really great account of what life was like in the early 1800s in Garrett County. So we have a nice historical exhibit up there. We have a number of interpretive panels. We've got a 10 mile trail system up there and we are just beginning development of a public outdoor art installation that's themed around him. Uh, so we have a chainsaw sculpture that was created uh, that's based on that portrait behind me that is from his book. Uh, we just uh, received that from the artist this past summer in 2019 and we received a number of grants to develop a number of new art projects that we'll be installing up there. We've got a, a reclaimed metal, uh, welded metal sculpture that we've just commissioned we're going to be create, having a local Girl Scout troop create a bottle cap mosaic. And the project that I'm asking for some help with right now is a panel of uh, mosaic, or a mosaic panel of community painted panels uh, that are 3D printed. So these are panels that are also based on that sculpture back there. They have um, some nice relief on them. And what, the, what we'd like to do is have community members paint these panels um, and we have 80 of these that we printed up and then we will attach them to a, an all-weather plywood board and create a big, probably life-sized um, exhibit of all of these individual little pieces that pe community members have painted. So there's a cool little block down here at the bottom for people to sign their name and once we've installed that at the park people can come back and find the pieces that they made and appreciate the other pieces. As part of this, uh, so people will paint this at, at some public events and some other events that we're hoping to plan. Uh, as an appreciation people will get a nice pamphlet uh, about Meshik Browning so and inside there is a map of the county that is kind of a kind of an informal driving tour of sites that are mentioned in his book so people can get familiar with what happened in his book and some areas around the county. And also another cool little thing that we'll be able to give to people is a little 3D printed miniature sculpture of Meshik Browning that's also based on that portrait. and everyone who paints one of the panels for us will also get one of these sculptures. So the, the request that I'm making right now is I'm not much of an artist and I need to know what kind of paints will work best on this panel. And I'm also looking for kind of an example panel. So I'd like someone who's a good artist to paint the first one for us. So we have a nice example to show people and give them an idea of uh, what what their their pieces could potentially look like. So that is that is my ask for all of you out here listening. And eventually I'd like to get this into maybe some classrooms. So if you're an art teacher or an art teacher, uh, this might be a great project uh, for your art class to do. Uh, we, we certainly have enough for some, some of the local art classes to do that as well. Or any other community-based uh, organizations that may want to do this project with us. Like I said, we have 80 of these little panels to paint, so we want to get as many community members involved in this as possible. So if you'd like to know more, um, hopefully you'll, you're seeing this through our YouTube or Facebook channel. You can contact us through that or give us a call or text at 323-325-4444. Or email us at dclions at gmail.com. dclions at gmail.com. 
So thanks a lot and hope to hear from you all and hope to get this project off the ground and to a great start.